this point, you have watched the other videos in, in this series which are PT Retail Lecture, Understand the Game and PT Retail Lecture Listening. Excuse me, this is Bruno. He's the mascot of our website uh, and he wants to become world famous through our videos. Well, getting on with the lecture, uh, as I was saying, uh, those videos are PT Retail Lecture, Understand the Game and PT Retail Lecture Listening. If you haven't watched them before going further, uh, do watch them. The links are in the description. If you have watched, you know how to listen and comprehend. The question is what bits you should include in your response and how, and how to sp spit it out so you are able to get perfect score for this item type. Like for other long answer speaking item types, your speech presentation should have an introduction, body and conclusion or implications. Introduction is where you present the primary and subtopic of the lecture. Body is where you present the most important information along with description, examples and other information from which the speaker directly derived her or his conclusion or implication. Conclusion or implication as the name suggests uh, is conclusion or implication provided by the speaker. Now the lecture that you hear uh, will be closer to 90 seconds. In this period, you're going to come across a lot of information and depending on your listening and comprehension skills, you may have the ability to retell the entire lecture. However, there is not sufficient time for that. With this item type, PTE wants to test your ability to condense and logically present information that you hear. So you have to choose and present information that is most relevant and the conclusion of, of your or rather speaker speech cannot be derived without. I will repeat, the conclusion or implication that you present in your speech should be clearly derivable from the body section of your oral presentation. The, lectures the, the lecture that you hear, its conclusion or implication that you hear at the end is like the filter through which each idea should pass. Only the ideas that are most relevant and without which the conclusion or implication that you present in the end cannot be derived from should make it to the body section of your speech. You may hear examples and list that are hard to remember by anyone. However, you can remember the point the speaker tried to make with those examples and list. In your speech, you can present the example by saying the speaker gave an example from a study done by dash dash or reputed university or whatever, which indicated and the content or something else up to the same effect. If there are names or quotes in the lecture that you can't remember, just say something to the effect the speaker quoted a famous authority on the subject who made the point and then give the point. When you come across such information, always try to derive the point the speaker is trying to make with that example or quote or list rather than spending time and energy on remembering such information. Uh, I think this is it for this video. Do go through the other resources in the description. Uh, there are blogs and there are videos which contain some very helpful tips uh, that I have not covered in this video. Remember, knowledge is good, but it by itself will not get you the scores that you need. In our PT prep courses, we offer perfect practice for the retail lecture item type. We provide questions that are designed to help you build the essential skills required to get perfect scores for this item type. You will come across lectures in various native English accents on familiar and unfamiliar topics with varying rate of speech so you are prepared and the actual test seems like a walk in the park on the test day. If you need help, we provide email support and online coaching on Skype to help you through the difficult bits. I'm sure you have more questions. Uh, do get in touch through any means given on our contact page. If you found this video helpful, please comment, share and subscribe. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and good day.